The finds of archaeologists, which do not fit into official science, have long excited the minds of mankind. Did highly developed civilizations end up at the Earth, and where did the memory of them disappear? With new discoveries, the past of Homo sapiens is pushed further and further into the mists of time, and recently, geneticists have calculated that the common mother of all people lived 200,000 years ago. So how old is a man? Hi friend, you're on the Curtop channel. Dinosaur Brain Paleontologists have discovered the first fossilized dinosaur brain. The find was made in the south of England. An international team of scientists examined the find and found that vessels and capillaries, cortical tissues and meninges were preserved in the brain. According to experts, the discovered brain is already about 133 million years old. In addition, the researchers noted that the find is unique in that the tissues did not decompose but became petrified and survived to this day. This is not a whole brain, but a rather large fragment of it. According to experts, it could have been preserved due to the fact that the dinosaur died in a swamp. There, the level of acidity of the water is increased and oxygen is practically absent altogether. That is why the brain fragment petrified instead of decomposing. Paleontologists have noted that the dinosaur brain is more similar to the brain of birds or crocodiles, but not the brain of reptiles as previously thought. This is the first discovery of an organ of an ancient animal which contains a huge amount of unique information about it. Prehistoric Pipeline the find of Chinese archaeologists in the 60-meter Baigan Mountain, which is located near Lake Tosin in a desert area near the city of Dalinga in Tibet, fits into the calculation of geneticists. In 1996, a Chinese archaeologist found a 6-meter cave in the mountain, on the wall of which iron pipes were laid in a neat tray going into the depth of the mountain under a collapse. The largest of the pipes was 40 centimeters in diameter and the smallest was 2 centimeters. Part of the ancient pipeline was also found in Lake Tosin itself. Some pipes protruded above the surface, while others were hidden in the water. Of course, the sock out of one of the pipes was immediately sent for research. The examination showed that they are made of nalle includes iron, silicon, calcium, sodium and potassium. The dating stunt are archaeologists. It turned out that the ancient pipeline could be over 150,000 years old. It was also surprising that the waters of Lake Tosin turned out to be salty, so it is not completely clear why ancient people needed salty water in the depth of the mountain. On the other hand, the ancient people did not necessarily have to pump something into the mountain. It may well be that they took out, for example, mineral water. This would easily explain the fact that the inside of the pipe was completely overgrown with minerals. Chinese archaeologists have not dared to somehow explain the ancient pipeline in such a harsh, arid place. The researchers suggested that Baigan Mountain is the remains of an ancient pyramid and ancient people needed salt water as an electrolyte and most likely it was supplied inside the pyramid to some kind of mechanism. Aztec Child Burials Archaeological search and rescue efforts in Mexico City's historic downtown area of La Leganilla unearthed the remains of an Aztec home and the burial site of four early colonial Aztec children. Excavations have also unearthed pre-Hispanic objects largely intact centuries later, including earthenware vases, ceramic pots and a stone figure of a woman holding a child. The Aztecs were a civilization that had rituals of human sacrifice. However, the researchers explained that the cause of death of the found children is associated with the difficult living conditions in which the indigenous people found themselves who were unable to escape from Tenochtitlan. A clear indicator of this hypothesis is the skull of the oldest infant. Crebra orbitalia, a disease directly related to anemia, infections, parasitic diseases and dietary imbalances. 
Through analysis of the size of his bones and tooth germ, it can be concluded that the infant could have died between the ages of 6 and 8. The hypothesis could be confirmed by testing whether the smallest infant is an unborn child, perhaps spontaneously aborted due to nutritional deficiency or maternal stress, and also by looking at the results of previous archaeological excavations. The best preserved offering at the site is an infant between the ages of 6 and 8. This offering consists of five small vessels, two spinning machines, and a statue painted blue. Judging by the iconography, the figurine probably represents a woman holding a girl on her lap, so the bone remains could probably be female. Stone pendants 25,000 years old as a result of the June expedition of archaeologists at the site of the Stone Age in Caucasia, a collection of objects of the stone and bone industry was obtained. Archaeological work was carried out at the Sabanika 3 site on the banks of the Krasnoyarsk Reservoir in the Bogreski district of the Republic of Caucasia. It was noted that the site of ancient people was discovered in 1989-1991, but research is still ongoing. So, during the last June expedition, more than 3,000 household items were found, the age of which is estimated at about 25,000 years. Among the finds, two stone pendants occupy an important place. Similar artifacts are known from another early Upper Paleolithic site in this region, the Malaya Saya site. The discovery of an unfinished, discarded pendant in the future will allow us to reconstruct the technology for making such jewelry. In addition, scientists have selected a series of samples for analysis that will allow us to reconstruct the paleoclimate and also obtain data on the chronology of the region. The man is even older. In 1913, the German archaeologist Hans Rack came to Tanzania, and in the famous Old Dubai Gorge, where fossils of ancient monkeys had previously been found, found a complete, perfectly preserved skeleton of Homo sapiens. The skeleton was found on the northern slope of the gorge in the upper layer 2, the age of which was estimated by geologists at 1.15-1.7 million years. It was a very hard clay tuff, and the human skeleton was removed from it in the same way as other fossils, with a chisel and a hammer. At the same time, Rack did not find any traces of burial. The layer was not disturbed, and the leading British anthropologist of that time, George McCurdy, examined the remains and considered the find to be genuine. Of course, there were skeptics. For example, British-born Kenyan archaeologist Louis Leakey flatly refused to believe Rack and made a trip to Old Dubai Gorge himself in 1931. This trip changed his mind to the opposite, and Leakey returned back as a supporter of the Rack. Teaming up with Hopwood of the British Museum, Leakey and Rack published an article about the find in the journal Nature. The article, of course, caused a flurry of indignation in the scientific community, and other archaeologists rushed to expose their comrades. Finally, the archaeologist Boswell obtained a pigment sample from the same layer. This proved that Rack had found a burial. Well, what would you think? This rejuvenated the skeleton only three times. Now its age is estimated at 400,000 years. Over time, Rack's supporters grew in number. Scientists felt that Boswell's sample might not have belonged to the place where the skeleton was found. Others hinted that Boswell, in defending science, could go for forgery. And this meant one thing. The age of modern man has now increased to one and a half million years. Fragment of the face of the most ancient European Spanish archaeologists in the province of Burgos have discovered an amazing find, the remains of the most ancient person who has ever lived in Europe. We are talking about a fragment of the face of a human being whose age may be about one and a half million years. The find is a fragment of a jaw. Now, researchers have to conduct a series of examinations to find out the real age of the bone. The process could take six to eight months, they said. By the way, today, the most ancient fossil found in Europe is the jawbone. Its age is 1.2 million years, and it was discovered in 2007 also in Spain. The Unexplained Mystery of the Ancient Greek Dragon Houses 
The dragon houses on Euboea, which probably date back to the pre-classic period of ancient Greece, are one of the historical mysteries that are still not fully solved. In the mountains of Euboea, the largest island in Greece after Crete, there are 23 ancient megalithic structures called dragon houses. Although they had nothing to do with dragons, these structures called Draco's pits or dragon houses are still prized for their architecture, simplicity and endurance. These megalithic houses are mortalist structures reminiscent of the Stab Pyramid of Djoser in Pridanestic Egypt and the pre-Columbian temple complexes of Teotihuacan. They are built of stones, mostly square or rectangular. In most cases, huge monolithic stones are used. Another notable feature is that they have no foundation. Their roofs are skillfully built from huge slabs stacked one on top of the other in the form of a pyramid. These structures built of stone are located in key locations, allowing you to observe the surroundings from a great distance. In particular, the house of the dragon Ochi is located at an altitude of about 1,400 meters above sea level. The weight and size of the megaliths is even more striking given that these dragon houses are located at very high altitudes. To build dwellings at such a height, the builders had to figure out a way to move such massive stones from a much lower height. In addition, each building has a hole in the roof, similar to the Pantheon, which is probably meant to allow natural sunlight or moonlight to illuminate the inside of the buildings. Locals believe that these were farmhouses, shelters or military installations. According to an ancient local tradition, the word dragon referred not only to a mythical beast but also to any person with superhuman strength. This led many to believe that the origin of the houses goes back to the ancient Greek gods. Archaeological excavations have also been carried out, but they have provided few answers to the mysteries of the dragon houses. Unknown Traces in favor of the fact that we do not know something about our history, the footprints of people who coexist next to the footprints of dinosaurs testify. The most famous example is found in the state of Texas, where the neighborhood of traces of a man and a lizard was found at the confluence of the Pallic Sea and Brazos rivers. They were first seen in 1909 by a local teenager. Scientists have determined that the three-toed footprints belong to a carnivorous theropod dinosaur, and in 1910, a new discovery literally shocked the minds of local scientists. Dinosaur footprints were found nearby, adjacent to large human footprints. The foot size of a contemporary dinosaur was large, about 38 centimeters. The orthodox immediately explained the origin of the footprints by the fact that it was a different dinosaur. Soon, another 38 centimeters fossilized bear footprint was described in the American Anthropologist magazine. It was found on the Ohio coast north of Parkerburg. And in 1927, researcher Knopp in Nevada's Fisher Canyon found a fossilized footprint in Triassic sandstone. The age of the rock was determined in 213 248 million years. The micrography of the print showed that the leather of the boot was handmade and the threads of the seams were thinner than the threads of shoes from the beginning of the 20th century. A similar footprint in a boot was found in 1968 in Utah, near the town of Antelope Springs. The rock on which the imprint was preserved belonged to the Cambrian period, its age was 505-590 million years. The discovery in the depth of the famous American Table Mountain fits into the same canvas. In 1856, a skeleton of a modern human was found in one of the gold mines at a depth of 200 feet. The rock layers in the mine were 33 million years old. Stone beads were also found here, the age of which was estimated from 9 to 55 million years. In Turkmenistan, in the rocks of the Jurassic period 150 million years old, Soviet archaeologists found a human trace in 1983. The discovery was made by corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences, Amenyazov. Human footprints of size 43 and nearby dinosaur footprints were found on the slope of the Kogaten Ridge. All this means that the reasonable man is not tens of thousands of years old, but tens and even hundreds of millions of years old. 
then why does official science believe that all these millions, well, not millions, but hundreds of thousands of years, a person has been sitting by the fire, shaping sticks, knocking over primitive scrapers and looking at the stars without developing a rule over the years? So maybe highly developed civilizations have already existed on Earth more than once. 8,000-year-old mother goddess figuring an 8,000-year-old figurine of the Yamuk mother goddess was found at the archaeological site of Shah Hagolin, located on the northern bank of the Yarmuk River in the center of the Jordan Valley. With an area of 3,000 meters square, the site is one of the important Neolithic sites in the Middle East, where important finds have been found, including monumental courtyard buildings, a street system, a well, and the largest collection of prehistoric art ever found in Israel. The Yarmuk culture was the first culture in prehistoric Israel and one of the oldest in the Levant to use pottery. The culture is especially noted for its enigmatic and characteristic mother goddess figures, which are believed to have been part of the Yarmuk fertility cult. Papyrus Tali Mystery Papyrus was discovered in 1933 by Alberta Tully, who was walking through the market in Cairo and saw an ancient papyrus that aroused his unprecedented interest. The price of the ancient papyrus was huge and the man did not manage to buy the original, but only managed to make copies, which were also quite important for studying the events of the past. Tully later turned to a well-known specialist for translation, who determined the age of the papyrus and suggested that it was written during the reign of Thutmose III, i.e. he is about three and a half thousand years old. Quite interesting is the inscription of a certain fireball that appeared in the sky in 22 and was absolutely silent. It was about 46 meters long and flew past the palace, which was reported to the pharaoh, who ordered to monitor the appearance of this object in the future. A few days later, a large number of such balls appeared and their light was brighter than the sun. They moved in different directions and after disappearing, birds and fish began to fall to the ground. A number of researchers believed that the common phenomena is described like meteorites or comets, but ufologists categorically disagree with them and believe that the ancient Egyptians could distinguish these phenomena from the appearance of UFOs in the sky. After Tali's death, his works disappeared and the originals could never be found. Given his work at the Vatican, some have suggested a conspiracy theory to cover up the truth. So far, there are only versions, rumors and conjectures, and the whole problem lies in the absence of the original papyrus. Maybe in the future we'll be able to unravel this mystery. In the meantime, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so as not to miss a new video. Write in the comments what you think about the Paris Tully. I am interested to read your opinion. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!